guys, it's Sonia. Happy Sunday. I have to say I really enjoy these Sunday chats and man, the universe gave me exactly what I needed today. Another beautiful rainy Sunday. You guys know that I love rainy days and especially when they fall on Sunday because I just find it so refreshing. So today I just been, you know, doing the things like, you know, catching up on laundry, doing a little cleaning around the house. Uh, I got up later than usual. I am on my second hot beverage of the day. This mug is super special to me. It was a mug that some sweet creative friends created for me uh, at the time when I just opened the doors to my shop. My, my business went public with my business and said, hey, I'm going to give all my creative work a space and come here every single day. So I do love this. I look at this mug and I think about, man, I have had this for years and years and years and years and I love it. Plus it's like the perfect mug because it's got that little curved lip right there. But I look at this and I think to myself, wow, I have come a long way. Like I have, but I also have done a lot of work in between. Oh man. Last week, I think we were talking about pivoting and just all the things when you look back, you've actually done a lot. Sometimes I think us as creatives, we just, you know, zoom right ahead because we're just of that mindset, right? We're always doing something. And when you actually stop to take time to look back, you realize, wow, I really did a lot. So yeah, pat yourself on the back because, and just keep going, right? Because all those little things all add up um, towards the future that you're trying to build. So I, I come on here on Sundays and I share something that I'm working on, which, ooh, I, um, I need to go grab the, uh, the painting that I'm gonna share with you guys today, something that I've been working on this week, and I'm gonna show you how it came together and hopefully it, it inspires you as well to work on something this week that you love and that you want to bring to life on canvas or on furniture or with whatever you do in your creative ways, just, just bring it to life. Isn't it amazing that, you know, the things that we bring to life when we're artists are things that are usually in our brain, right? If they're not in a, any other place, or we bring them forward in such a way that the world has never seen them before. So anyhow, I'll share with you my llama in just a second and we'll get into that. But on Sundays, I like to think about um, just kind of sharing as well, something this week that has just been on my mind or I feel inspired to talk about. And I'm learning to be better at just, yeah, talking in the moment. So this is something I've been thinking about this week and all week it's just been coming up. And I'm like, okay, I feel like I should share this because maybe somebody out there is just at their beginnings. Kind of like when I look at this mug and it was a gift when I first opened my shop. Um, yeah, maybe you're at that point right now, or maybe you're like me and you're still growing as well along the way. But I did write down a few things and I'm gonna share them with you guys. How it actually came, how I got this thought and thought maybe I should share this with you guys is, um, yeah, I was laying in bed every single night I do this. I'm usually up past midnight pretty much every single day. So at midnight on my Facebook at, on my Facebook um, channel, I can go into memories and I can see what I posted, you know, oh my goodness, as long as you know, you've been posting, it kind of like throws up a bunch of stuff. And because my business has been such a big part of my biz, of my life and growing and changing my life, well, usually every single day, it throws me up something to remember. I think they're called time hops uh, memories. And this week there was, I think it was three different, on three different days, including last night, there was another um, a bunch of project pictures that came up. And that this is just it. As us as creatives, we forget all the stuff we've done. And I am thankful for memories because, you know, you look at those memories and you go, I forgot we even did that. You know, even with your family or I forgot I even painted that piece of furniture. I forgot when I actually, you know, got creative and worked on that piece of art. And so it is nice to stop, to look back and to think, right? So it really just got me thinking this week, I'll pop up a few photos right here uh, of those pieces that showed up in my time hop. And immediately when I looked at them, I thought, oh wow, those are really old photos because you know, at that time I didn't have a shop. This was before the mug. And before I, you know, like I said, gave my creative spot an actual physical storefront and did all the things to make it a business, which eventually became a full-time business. And little did I know I'd be able to quit my job. My husband would quit his job and we would be able to work together and I'd be able to do the things I love, right? But hindsight is 2020. But when I look at those photos, the biggest thing that I think to myself personally is, oh my gosh, Sonia, 
That's a long ways back. Rainy, relaxing days can bring a flood of emotions, but they're real, they're there, and it's important to acknowledge them, and I think feelings are good, right? I love, I love feelings, so feel your feelings. So today I'm just feeling grateful and thankful for everything because, yeah, it's, when I look back to where I started to where I am now, oh gosh, Sonia, come on, stay, stay with it here. Um, I wanna, yeah, I wanna feel those things, but I also wanna communicate those things to you. So. You know, it's just been ups and downs and a lot of a lot of different things along the way, a lot of pivots, a lot of changes, and yeah. So, you know, I, for example, just to kind of give you a peek into some of the things I'm feeling today, it's raining outside right now, and, well, the sun, I think, is starting to come out. It's But it's been raining all night and all day, and I love the rain, but there was a time where, you know, we didn't have money to repair our roof, and so every time it rained, it was stressful. Now I don't have to think about that anymore because when this beautiful home came into our lives, it had a brand new roof. I kid you not. Like that was, you know, they say that where you've been before teaches you kind of like what you want, what you don't want, what's important to you. Man, a nice roof is important to me. And it's because there was a time, especially when I was growing my business, that we didn't have. So time hop photos. When I look at those pictures, one of the things I think about, one of the things I think about is the fact that there is no backdrop to those photos, but they're still beautiful and all those pieces and more besides, they all sold. And at the time, I didn't even realize that, you know, you're supposed to have a backdrop, you know, you buy a backdrop and it has to be behind your furniture and I'm glad I didn't know those things because what happened was my work became uh, very distinguish it stood out i have people who would write me and say i recognize your work and i recognize your backdrop anywhere i remember when people said that because i would always paint outside uh, when the weather was great and when i was finished with a project i would stage it below this big tree out front of our house and there are times when there was snow in the background <laughs> where you know because that was all i had but i saw that as you know that was a beautiful spot to take my pictures and so i'm so glad i did i've learned a lot along the way from those very beginnings but you know just never knock what you got right now which i think is what i wanted to say today which is just you know love where you're at right now don't hold yourself back because of what you don't have in fact, what you have is perfect right now. Just make use of what you actually have right now to be able to uh, move your business forward. And yeah, the most important thing is to keep moving forward. But yeah, I'm just thinking back to those days of not having a lot of money, but you know what? I still moved forward. And I didn't know about all the stuff you're supposed to have or that you hear about, or sometimes you see on social media and you're like, if I only had that backdrop, you know, if I only had that, then I could start my creative journey. You've got everything that you need right now. You just need to keep moving forward. And this is what I tell myself every single day because I know it's the truth, that it is progress over perfection. The goal still stays the same, but you don't need to invest, you know, money that you don't have and stuff that you think will get you further. You've got your talents. The most important thing is to share them with the world. And you might be pleasantly surprised to find out what happens.
Thank you for following along as this sweet little creature, this little llama came to life. That was a lot of fun. I always enjoy a good paint session. Thank you for keeping me company along the way. I hope it inspires you to do something that you feel inspired to do, whether you have a message to share, whether you have creative art to share, whatever it is that you wanna share, I hope you share it.